Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another cooking class with SketchUp. In this class here, we're going to take components that we have in our component library, and from these components, we're going to try to get them to fit into this kitchen area that we're working with. So this file, is you can download this file from ShareOut. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to turn off my wall layer. And now that my wall layer is turned off, I can start by moving my objects into position. So I'll just click on the corner cabinet and then I'll click on the other cabinet. Now, of course, you can always create these cabinets yourself, but sometimes it's nice to be able to do things a little bit quicker and save a little bit of time, especially when you're not sure 100% what your client's going to want. This is a good start for them. So the first thing I see is that my cabinet needs to be a little bit wider because it can't fit the space. So we can scale it. We have to be a little bit careful, or we can try to scale. Actually, we can't scale it. If I select it and I click on Scale, if I grab this edge, you'll see what happens to the front area. So really, this is not quite an option at this point. But what I can do is I can right-click and I can edit the component. And I'm just going to try to heal an edge on here. And that closes that off, and I can do the same on the bottom, heal an edge, and heal an edge here. So now I can just pull this surface so that it lines up to where, I, where the base is. And of course I need to do the same thing with the countertop and with my drawer and my door. Now I'll do the same thing with the top. And so we've, we've customized this so that it will fit this floor, this particular floor pattern, or this floor layout. And so now I'll do the same thing with the other, except for on this one I will try to use the scale. And again, I can use the scale, so I can just move that in so that it fits the correct size. So that was pretty easy, I think. I'm going to copy these two file, these two blocks to the other side. So I click on move, control for copy, and just move it over to the other side. Now of course these are the wrong way, so this is kind of cool. I can, with my scale command, if I grab this spot here, I can go this way and minus one. Okay. Try that again. And this gives me exactly the same thing except for in the opposite direction. So now I'm going to look at these, this one here and I'm going to do a, if I do a move copy here, it will also repeat it here. So I clicked on move copy. Sorry, actually it doesn't repeat it. It just, it just becomes a different unit. So, um, this is going to make it a little bit harder to work with. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to undo this. And what I want to do is I'm going to click on this one here. And I'm going to make unique. So by making this unique now, if I want to, I should be able to just fill in this part across here. Oops. First I need to edit it. Right click. Edit component. And I'll do the same thing for here. 
So in, in this case here for this one, what I would like to do is I'm going to do a move copy. And then I need to, because this is a little too big, I'm going to scale it. So I'll select it, click on scale, and I should be able to just move that into here. So that's looking pretty good. I will um, edit this component. And I need to... fill in the ends. So these cabinets are a little bit smaller than the ones on the other side. Now the ones on the other side, um, what I'd like to do here is I'm going to move this fridge into position. And you can see that the fridge is just a little bit large, so I'm also going to scale that. And just close, doesn't have to be perfect. So now that basically fills the area that I want to be in. So for this cabinet, I'd like to have a, a drawers over top, so I'm just going to click on to here. And I'm just going to draw a line across here. And it's a little bit low, so maybe I'll just not, I'll just do a little bit higher. And I'll draw one across here. Now, for this cabinet, I'm just going to pull this part here. So that basically it lines up with my spot on the floor. And in this case, I'm going to do a pull copy. I want to retain that line there, and then I can just draw a line from the midpoint that completes the uh, the cabinets on this side now these cabinets are pretty good except for one thing is that we if we uh, turn on our wall again just turn on for a second you'll notice that we have a window here so that means I have to take Looks like I have to take out uh, these two windows, these two cabinets here. So I'll just turn that off again and I'm going to um, edit my group. Actually, I'm already in the group, so right click, edit component. And I'll just draw a line across here. And I'm going to draw a line across here. Draw a line down here. And now I should be able to erase. Erase this part. So, of course, I'm going to need to heal this. I'll do the same on the other side. And now I can erase Do 
just erasing this area here. Okay, so we still have a little bit of work to do. Things are looking really good. Um, but I'm going to close this tutorial now and we'll do a second part and we'll install our sink, our uh, arrange, our range hood, and adjust our walls. Thank you. See you soon.